Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. Now in today's video, I'm super excited to share with you my one week experience with the Poco F5. Yes, time has really passed that fast and it's been more than a week since I've been using this device. So let's talk a bit about why I think the Poco F5 might be a better purchase compared to its bigger brother, the F5 Pro. Let's begin. Now, first things first, the reason why I start off with that huge bombshell at the front is because I think the performance from the Poco F5 is actually way, way better than most of the phones in its price segment. So, I think you already know, but the Poco F5 here is using the Snapdragon 7 Plus Gen 2 processor, which is actually one of the first devices to use that, and it's super powerful, guys. So let me just give you a bit of a perspective. I do have a couple of Snapdragon 8 devices lying around, so I brought out the Snapdragon 8 Gen Gen 1 and compared it with this Poco F5 and guess what? The Poco F5 Snapdragon 7 Plus Gen 2 totally blew away the Snapdragon 8 Gen 1. So I did not stop there. I brought out again the Snapdragon 8 Plus Gen 1 and this time I put them side by side and once again the Poco F5 blew that away as well. Now things were getting a bit interesting here so I decided to take out my OnePlus 11 which uses the Snapdragon 8 Gen 2 and I put it side by side and this time round, it was actually quite close. It actually showed that the single core score is actually higher than the OnePlus 11, but it loses out in the multi-core score division. So just to put the whole thing into a bit of a summary, you can tell that this is a very powerful device. Now over the past one week, I've actually been using the Poco F5 as my main gaming phone, and I played a ton of games here guys. So we have my favorite Mobile Legends installed here, and just like on most Snapdragon processors. You will notice that the graphics supported for Mobile Legends is always at the Ultra and also Ultra for refresh rate. Now when it comes to Genshin Impact, naturally you can also use maximum settings on the Poco F5 and get a very stable frame rate. The best part here about gaming on the Poco F5 is that the efficiency, the amount of heat produced is actually quite low. So I noticed that the phone did not heat up that much at all. And overall, I think just in terms of performance, the Snapdragon 7 Plus Gen 2 is definitely off to a great start. Alright, so I don't want to talk too much about the performance already because you can already tell that it is a very powerful phone and it doesn't matter if you are a gamer or if you are an average user just using your social media and apps like that, you will get maximum performance for the amount of money that you are paying. Now let's move on to the second point which I think was actually quite interesting here and that's actually about the cameras at the back. Now you might notice that we do have a triple camera setup but the main sensor is really the one that we care about and that is a 64 megapixel main sensor that also comes with OIS. Now I want to start off with a couple of samples I took during the night because I actually found it quite interesting. Now when I say interesting, I really mean quite impressive for a Poco device. Now Poco devices has never been strong in the camera department but the F5 here actually took some pretty impressive shots at night which I think is definitely attributed to the OIS on board to actually reduce the amount of motion blur and all that to have a very clear and crisp image. So I think night shots turned out pretty well. Uh, if you go on to daytime shots, I think it did a decent job. I wouldn't say like it's fantastic or anything like that, but it's definitely what you would expect for the amount, amount of money that you are paying. Now that's just in terms of the camera. Ultimately, I think with the addition of the OIS on board, you are definitely able to capture more stable images, which I think is great for just fast shooting on the go. Alright, so let's move on to another thing that I kind of like as well on the device and that is actually the display. Now display wise, you do get a pretty standard 6.67 inch 120Hz AMOLED display. Of course, everything is very smooth because it is a high refresh rate. But one thing I do have to point out here is that naturally I've actually been using the phone outdoors quite a bit and I noticed that the auto brightness was sometimes a little bit finicky. So sometimes when it's under very bright sunlight, it just doesn't get bright enough for me to use. And sometimes when I'm indoors gaming, I noticed that the brightness reduced to a level where it was a little bit challenging to see the display at all. So I think the auto brightness, the ambient sensor or anything like that, hopefully it gets updated. I'm not sure, but I just found that it was a bit finicky. All right, so let's move on to a couple of stuff uh, that I did not really like, and that is in terms of the stereo speakers. Yes, we do have a headphone jack at the top, but the stereo speakers on the F5 isn't particularly great. I think it sounds okay, but it could have been better. And another thing that I did not really like about this particular device is the back panel. Now the back panel here 
skin. This black colorway actually looks quite nice. It has this sort of like carbon fiber uh, look if you look really closely into it, but it is a fingerprint magnet. So if you are going to use the free case in a box, the transparent one, I guess you do not have to worry about that. But if you are like me who doesn't use a case, you know, it's going to capture a lot of fingerprints and a lot of dust is going to get trapped at the camera sensors. Now, your only other option that I see for now is getting the white version, but this white version, it just comes with a lot of weird textures at the back and it doesn't really look that nice. I think this is really down to your personal preference, but I'm not a huge fan of of this you know kind of designs and textures going on at the back of this white Poco F5 so if it were up to me I'll still go with the black but yeah I'll have to live with those fingerprints all right so back to some good stuff we do have a typical 5000 mAh battery on board and coupled that together with the Snapdragon 7 Plus Gen 2 you are actually getting a pretty good battery life because the processor itself is quite efficient um, you also have the 67 watt fast charge charger that came in a box so you should be able to charge this up fairly quickly now at the end of the day I think this Poco F5 is a great device for anyone who's looking for a new phone in 2023 and does not want to splurge a lot of money, especially since you see a lot of flagships today costing a lot more. Now this phone is only going for I think slightly more than 1,500 ringgit and you know generally Poco always you know have a lot of promotions going on so I think that is a safe price to assume and you already get that very good Snapdragon 7 Plus Gen 2 processor on board. So. If you are looking for a new phone, I strongly suggest you check out the Poco F5. This is a solid purchase, you're getting a lot of performance for the amount of money you're paying and I think Poco did a great job with the F5. Now with that said, that pretty much wraps up today's video. Don't forget to drop a like if you want to support the channel and of course subscribe if you want to see more content like this. And that's it for today, look forward to seeing you guys in the next one. Stay safe everybody, bye!